Okay, everyone, welcome back to CPP for Beginners.com's uh, continuing C tutorials. This is going to be lesson number 30B. Uh, this is going to be going over the homework where we are going to make an array, which I already have one made from last lesson, and using pointers, print it out in reverse order. This is actually just going to take one simple for loop. Um, hopefully you guys didn't struggle on this one because this is just going back to that same reversing of arrays that we've done uh, a couple of times before. Now what you can do here, you can say for int i equals zero. Actually, let's do it equal to five. Um, that'll be a bit easier. Int i equals five. Um, we're just doing that because we know it's the size of the array. Um, it's actually a lot easier to figure out the size of a vector than the size of an array. Um, if you're not given the size of an array, it can actually be a little bit of a trick to find. Um, we might get into that later on, but I think after this we might really be done with arrays. Um, aside from DMA, I don't really want to talk about them anymore, because vectors are just all around better. So, anyways, we uh, we have this for loop, int i equals 5. Um, we're going to say i is greater than 0. And uh, we're going to say i minus minus. Now, that's actually an off by one error. Uh, it should be 4 and less than or equal to 0. And so what we're going to do here is um, just run... Why did I just run that? What am I doing? <laughs> Didn't even put anything in here. We're going to do uh, C out A pointer. Um, and I need the dereference operator. Plus I. And we'll toss in endl for posterity's sake. And now we're going to get a nice reversed output array from array events. Um, again, no no real wizardry here. I mean, I guess that there might be a little. Um, if you don't quite understand how uh, pointers work at this point, I can't say that I, I blame you. They are quite difficult to understand. Uh, the best way that I can explain what a pointer actually is is to simply say this. If you simply picture them as memory locations pointing to variables, you're going to have an easier time. Um, in this case, the variable that it's pointing to is the start of the array. What When we assign a pointer equal to an array, what we're actually assigning a pointer to is really array int zero. That's kind of what we're setting it equal to. Um, I'm going to leave that there even though this isn't exactly true. Um, that's going to be the easiest way that you can think of it. I'm even going to add the uh, dereference operator there. And it's not exactly true, but it's mostly true. Um, so I guess that's really all we have to cover here. I mean, this is just the homework. Um, it's not really important that we go over it in any more depth. So I thank you guys for watching. I'm Damien with cppforbeginners.com. And uh, I think that'll just about cover it for the absolute introduction of pointers. Uh, in the next couple of episodes, we'll be getting more into it. Thanks for watching.